Hey what's up guys it's Mike Tech back again with another video and today we are going to be taking a look at FreeCAD 0.18 and I am going to be showing you how to import, export and create tools for your tool library in FreeCAD 0.18 but before we can do that one thing I need to ask you guys really really quick is can you please uh, like comment and subscribe to see more videos just like this one here every time you like comment subscribe not just on this video but on all of my videos it helps me figure out whether you guys actually like seeing these videos or not and it also helps me grow the YouTube channel really really fast which is something that I really need to do so uh, like I was saying please like comment and subscribe on all of my videos not just this one and if you want to head over to the website um, you can follow me on all social media platforms um, Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I also have an Amazon store and an eBay store. You never know. You might find something there that might be useful to you that you might want to buy. And every time you buy something, that also helps out the YouTube channel as well. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me everywhere. So, um, on with the video. Now, first things first. After opening up FreeCAD 0.18 and coming over here to this drop-down box and selecting Path. Um, after you select that, you will be you will see all of these tools up here at the top all these different things that you can click on you want to go to the one that says tool manager it's going to look like a whole bunch of drill bits and stuff yeah just drill bits um, after clicking on this here you're going to see a uh, tool library now after the tool library shows up you're going to see two things at the top you're going to see import and export now what are these two buttons and what do they do well and let's say for example you have an old PC and you need to export um, your tool library from your old PC and you want to import it onto your new PC well very simple you can do that here you can just click export you type in the name of the file of the tool library that you want to export here you press save you can save it to a flash drive SD card CD anything hard drive <clears throat> does not matter just save it somewhere after you save it you want to take that media that the tool library is on and you want to plug that into your new computer press import look for that media look for the file that is on that media for me I have it labeled as 41 right here I guess it's high like that press open I'm not gonna press open because if I do it all anything is gonna do is going to duplicate all of the tools that I already have in here which is something I don't want to do because I already have tools in here and I don't need copies of the same one but for you um, if you are importing tools just click open and then all of the tools just show up here in your tool window or tool library window or whatever you want to call it um, so yeah that's how you import tools from an old PC over to a new PC or if you're backing up that is how you back up tools and you re um, import the tools into your computer if you ever lose data or your tools for some reason now let's say for example I want to move my tools around I don't want number six to be number six I want it to be number five because I feel like five is a better number for this tool where very simple I just highlight the tool come over here to the bottom right you will see a button that says move down and you will see another <clears throat> you will see another button that says move up well for me I just want to move it up so I want to make number five number six so I click this and now number five the default tool well now number six the default tool is now number five now let's say for example I want to move this one back down I want to move it back down to number six very simple I said I just press move down and now the but the tool that was number five is now number six so that's how you move your tools around and you can move them however however high you want to go and however low you want to go so just do that there that's how you move your tools around now let's say for example I want to delete a tool very simple I just highlight the tool well actually I don't need to highlight the tool actually but you can just come over here to where this little box is click the little box right here put a little check mark in there and then come down here and press delete now that is how you delete tools if you don't want them if you don't want them anymore now if you want to add a tool very simple as well you just come over here to where it says new tool press that and then you will see your tool editor will show up now inside your tool editor there are lots of different things here that you need to be paying attention to first things first you have your name of the tool for for right now I'm just gonna keep it as default tool because I'm just showing you how to create new tools I'm not really I don't really need to create tool for myself but whatever let for right now for example let's just keep this as default tool 
Now underneath that you have type. Now the type of tool that we are using today is going to be an end mill, let's just let's just say. But if you don't want to use an end mill, let's say you want to use a drill. Um this is your drill here, and then obviously it's gonna be asking you for different things. Let's say you want to use a fly cutter. Or this 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 is not a fly cutter. There we go, fly cutter. Now if you want to use a fly cutter, obviously it's gonna ask you for all of the stuff that is necessary for a fly cutter. So if you want to use maybe a ball end mill and it's going to ask you for stuff for a ball end mill. So it is going to change based on the tool that you are using. But let's just switch it back to end mill for right now. Underneath type, you have material. Now when you click on this, it's going to have all the different materials that the tool can possibly be made of. It has carbide, high speed steel, high carb uh, high carbon tool steel. It also has cast alloys, it has ceramics, and it also have diamond along with a couple other um, tool materials as well that you could possibly use that you can also use. Um, underneath that you have length offset. Now for me I do not use length offset because I have the length offset programmed inside my CNC machine. But for you, you might want to have it programmed inside the tool editor if that's what you want to do is up to you. Um, more information the better it is it helps it calculate the the um, actual program better so it helps out with the with the processing part for the g-code so if you want to put that in there feel free to I don't because I really don't think that's necessary for me because I have it inside my machine so I just leave this empty it's up to you though um, underneath that you have your tool um, stuff all the stuff for your tool so you have your diameter your height and S I don't bother with but uh, like I was saying it does change depending on the tool that you're using so if I switch this to drill diameter and height is still going to be the same but the angle is something different so now it's asking for the angle of the tip of the drill so like I was saying it's going to change based on the tool that you are using so there you go now it, after you get done typing all this stuff in you press OK your tool is going to show up inside your tool library window um, if you want to add this tool to a job or a tool manager or whatever it is, let's close this real quick. Let's go over here. <clears throat> you have your job editor. Go over here to where it says tool. If you want to add a tool to your job manager, press add. Come over here to your tool that you want to add. I want to add the default tool, which is a tap. I want to add that to my tool to my job editor. I click the uh, inside the little box here and then down here at the bottom you will see a button that says create tool calculator press this press OK and now my default tool has been added to my list of tools for my job so that's how you add a tool for a job let's say you want to get rid of a tool for a job you don't want that any you don't want that there anymore come over here to where it says remove press remove it disappears let's say you want to edit because your feeds your speeds or not there so if you want to edit that come over here to where it says edit and now you can enter in all that information here you you can enter in your horizontal feed your vertical your vertical feed your vertical rapid your horizontal rapid and your spindle along with the direction of the spin uh, uh, the direction of the spindle forward or reverse and then at the top you at the top you obviously have the um the name of the tool as well and then if you click down here where it says tool it basically gives you all the information that you saw inside the tool um, editor for the tool library. All of that stuff will also show up here as well. So you can also edit information here if you need to. And then after doing all of that, press OK. And then it will automatically just show up here. I didn't type anything in, so that's why it's not showing up. But for you, after you type it in, it will be there. So there you go. Press OK, and then that takes you back to the main window. So I think I pretty much went over everything that is necessary for you to be able to import, export, and create new tools, move them up and down, delete them, put them inside of a job. I think I pretty much went over everything for that. So um, if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share the video as well. Don't forget to go to my website where you can watch other stuff. I have lots of stuff up there I also have stuff to sell as well um, if you want to go to my eBay store feel free to Amazon store feel free to and like I said like comment subscribe follow me on all social media platforms and that's about it peace out